slept in your office again. Oh, late night. There have been a lot of those lately. Well, we didn't have an office in our old apartment, so... I'm getting used to the new digs. Well, if I knew I was going to be sleeping alone so much, I would have said we could just stay in the apartment. It's my job, Justine. If you want us to be a family of three, Daddy's got to make sure there's a roof over our heads. <laughs> Are you worried? No. I am. I'm worried. I'm worried that the agency's going to call and say that we're not a match. Look, any kid in the world would be lucky to have you as its mom. It's going to happen. Can you do me a favor? Sure. Can you please try to keep the referring to yourself as daddy thing to weekends and in private? Daddy cannot promise that. <laughs> okay, I'm going to make us coffee, take a shower, go on my power walk. Great. Okay. You are a married middle school teacher. You're like out of the game forever. Take it from someone who's in the game year round. Anytime a man sleeps in his office instead of at home with his gorgeous wife, it's because he wants distance. That's another one of your theories. Stone cold truth, honey. When they know they've got you, they are boorish. They sleep in their offices or worse. Tom wouldn't. No, I didn't think Jeff would. But when they're insecure, there's a little competition, that's when they get their act together. Okay, so let me get this straight. In your perfect world, your husband, the person that you've chosen to spend your life with, you just keep him guessing for her. Dang. <laughs> You're so crazy. No, I'm just not going to be taken advantage of again. Neither should you. I'm so happy that we moved 10 minutes from you. Isn't that amazing? I know. College brought us together. Tom stole you away from me, but then his work is bringing us back together again. That's meant to be. Listen, you are stressing out about the adoption. You're sleeping alone while your husband works. You're gonna pop a blood vessel if you don't relax, and this whole speed walking thing is not cutting it. Jenny, no. What? I told you I don't like yoga. One class! One class, and if you hate it, at least you get to watch Dominic and his abdominal muscles. He's made up of those and my fantasies. <laughs> You're so bad. You need flexibility, stability, and balance. Why not go to the place where you're gonna get all three? Okay, I'll think about it. That's a yes. I said I'll think about That's it. That's a yes. Oh, okay. You're a pain in my ass. Go. <laughs> feel it was a match, there's got to be a reason. It doesn't make any sense. And I guarantee you the reason, it's not on our end. <laughs> How can you guarantee that? If it's not us, what is it, the baby's fault that we're not a match? No, I'm just saying that there's politics in everything. about this. Like, I wanted this to happen as much as you did. Why are you speaking in the past tense? Just trying to be realistic. I 
feel like maybe, maybe we should just give it a little more time before we dive right back in again. I think that would be smart and I think it'd be good for both of us. I'm going to bed. What are you wearing? Yoga. I signed up last night. You signed up for yoga? Yeah. I just feel like I have to get out of my head. Not everybody checks off their emotions in boxes like you. I don't do that. Sorry. I just feel like I have to process my feelings a little bit different than you. Well, you always have had to process your feelings, so that makes sense. Okay, bye. Bye. I'll see you uh, when I get home. I can't believe this is the first time you're ever doing yoga. Well, I did a class or two in college. It just never connected with me. Spiritualism, I guess. Mm. <laughs> what? Just wait till you meet Dominic. I would connect with that man over waffle batter. <laughs> <laughs> I was walking to class today and I noticed this little sprig of green pushing its way out of the cement. Now, I couldn't tell if it was a flower, plant, or a weed, but I respected its persistence. We all have a ceiling, like that sprig. And like that little sprig did, we have to break through to achieve our full potential. For my new students, this is your first step. Today is your first step in your growth toward what you're meant to be. Now, I only noticed it because that woman in front of me, she stepped aside, so not to step on it. Let's come to standing, please. Warm up. Big inhale, rise, exhale, and swan dive into your forward fold. Keep your knees bent, ease your body into that stretch. Beautiful. Bravo. Now, that woman was exactly what you imagined. Lot in hand on her cell phone. Big inhale, hands to knees, halfway left. Beautiful long spine. What's the lesson here? Hmm? That sprig was small. It was insignificant. It was in an inconvenient place it probably had no right to be in. But I wasn't ashamed. Exhale, drawing back into your forward fold. Could have been just a weed, but she stepped aside. The world wants you to be exactly like that. Small, insignificant, inconvenient. Rise on a flat back, big inhale. Exhale, hands to heart. Beautiful. But if you stand tall, if you are who you are with no apology, The world has to reckon with you. It will have to. Hmm? Let us begin. This is Warrior Two. This one hurts. I know, but it's supposed to hurt. Legs are shaking, arms are aching. I know. But the key to this pose is standing tall. Grow through your heart. I know, it's supposed to burn. 
Welcome the pain. Embrace the discomfort. You are ascending. But that's the thing about we warriors. We stand tall. When it hurts, especially when it hurts, when it aches, we stand tall like that little sprig. Breathe. You know me, I don't like to say I told you so. Oh. Fine, I love to say I told you so. And I told you so. Oh, well, it was pretty amazing. He's pretty great. That man. Mm. <laughs> How are you feeling? Um, I feel taller. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's good to see you looking so relaxed. Thank you, Dominic. Thank you, Tom. Okay, all right. So, why haven't you asked him out? Mm. Nobody knows what his deal is. He moved to town like eight months ago, but other than that, he's a total mystery. Mm. Why does that do it for me so much? <laughs> I'm sorry about the baby. It'll get better. Get the best. All right, I love you. I love you. Be the sprig! <laughs> Hi. Hi. The meeting went longer. And I had to make a conference call from the car on the way here, so. Okay. I'm sorry, I should have called. Yeah. How was your, um, yoga? Yoga class was great, actually. So it was worth it. Well, I was able to get out of my head and forget about the adoption, so yeah, I'd say it was worth it. Great. I am happy to hear that. I want to try again, Tom. Okay, I think we should uh, let the agency contact us because that's just how it works. I know, I just don't want to miss out on a baby that might need us. Well, I don't want that to happen either, but there's a whole process. Okay, but there's a way to help the process, right? We can manipulate the politics of it all. I mean, isn't that what you do at the firm? Uh, yeah, I guess so. I have two letters written to the board. I have a call scheduled for Tuesday to get us back on the top of the list. I'll see what I can do. Will you? What does that mean? Do you even want this baby? I'm just saying what we're both thinking out loud. Do you really think that I don't want us to have a baby? Do you really think that? Then help me, please. Thank you for dinner. I have a deadline and I'm gonna be in my office.
Sorry. Is there no class this morning? On Thursdays, it's 11 a.m. You're just a little early. Oh, okay, I'll leave. I'm sorry, I don't want to disrupt you. No, no, please, please, come. Um, yeah, yesterday's class is um, pretty great. Well, it could have been all that great if you're not this so for another class today. That was a joke. Oh. I'm joking. <laughs> of course I'm joking. You're welcome here as much as you like, Justine. Oh, you remember my name? Of course, you were one of my students. Wow, it takes me like two weeks to remember my students' names. A fellow instructor, meant to be. Uh, may I ask you something? Sure. This isn't exercise for you. You're looking for something more. There's a weight on you, and you're trying to find a way to lift it. Oh. Yes, that's exactly it. I could feel it. When you're ready, come and see me for private instruction. A private instruction like a trainer? Trainers are for housewives who are looking for something else. I'm talking about a deeper path. When you're ready. Stop, Sensei. Hi. Uh, <laughs> are you trying to give me a heart attack? I felt bad about last night and how it went, and I just wanted to come home early and apologize. I'm sorry. They're beautiful, Tom. Thank you. You're welcome. So th is this, uh... <laughs> This yoga thing, is it a routine? Yeah, maybe. Okay. I like that you found something that you're doing that, you know, you enjoy during your time off, so. Thank you. Was, um, was Jenny there? Why? Oh, I'm just curious. Oh, yeah, well, she was. Okay. Um. I'm gonna go change. Okay. <laughs> Bring down, I'm sorry. Tom? Yeah. Never mind. Oh, what? What were you gonna say? It's fine. Is this the life you imagined? Is this not the life that you imagined? It's just we were so young. And we've been each other's universe forever. Okay, now I'm confused. Since your promotion, you've been distant. I've been working nonstop. I'm giving this job everything that I have. Yeah, I know. I, I know. It's just that I'm putting everything in us, and I really need you to step up in that department. Okay. We'll just, uh, be the happiest couple in the homeless shelter. Fine. I don't want to be homeless. I just... We've wanted a family since we were dating. I know. And this is what we have to do for our situation. You mean my situation? No, I did not say that. I would never say that. But it's what you're thinking. Okay. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong that you don't want a baby and that you're happy our application wasn't approved. <sighs> Shavasana. The corpse pose. This one is the hardest pose to master, but it's also the perfect pose. It's about stillness of body, 
stillness of mind. And the constant chaos and movement keeps stillness in your body. Accept who you are. It's not about being perfect. It's about being present. To this moment, Classes in a day. Been a rough day. I'm sorry. Keep still and breathe. Were you ready? Come to a seated position. Thank you for sharing your practice with me. Namaste. Namaste. Since coming here, I mean, my stress chakras were like Everest, and now, like, K2. What brings you to the dojo? I'm actually kind of new at yoga. I haven't done that. Justine? <laughs> I... I just talked to Justine. I was ready to close up soon. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just going to ask you a quick question. Oh, of course. I'm going to go. To be continued. Okay. See you on the gram. You know, I didn't know that you were going to close up. We can talk about this another time. A little bit of free advice. Be careful. With that guy? There are men who can sense vulnerability. I seem vulnerable to you? It's a strength. It's not a weakness. But it can be exploited. You want to talk about a private instruction? Uh, yeah. How did you know that that's what I was going to ask you about? Hopeful, I guess. Um, I just wanted to find out how it would work. I see a lot of potential in you. Uh, we can work here after class or at your home, if you prefer. My home? I mean, home lessons are primarily for students who want to transition into teaching. Into teaching yoga? I thought that was obvious, no? No. What, I, what makes you think I would be a good yoga teacher? This. <laughs> You, that same vulnerability, it's a gift. You are so open, people can relate to you. They, they want to be near you. I saw that the moment you walked into my class. You can make people become better versions of themselves. And we're going to do exactly that. I would love to try. Um, would you just plug in a few dates in my share calendar. Your husband, I assume? Yes, Tom, he works. That's a good quality in a man. Yeah, yeah, he works. A lot. It's just easier if we're on the same schedule. Four or five days a week? Well, yeah, Dominic thinks I could be a teacher. Oh, you want to teach yoga now? Well, I don't know, I, I really like it, and... Who knows? We could bring in some extra money. You know, I was thinking during the school year I can work weekends, and during the summer I can do it full-time. You want to be a full-time yoga teacher? Well, I just thought if I bring in some extra money, then you wouldn't have to work so hard. <laughs> you don't think I can handle it? No, I, I know that you can handle it. I just I want to see you more. Well, do you think five days a week of Yoga Seminar 101 is a good way to accomplish that goal? <sighs> I need this, Tom. You know, when we get a baby, and we will, it's gonna be a long road, and yoga strengthens me, and it balances me. I'm a sprig. You're a what? <laughs> it's a term I learned in yoga. Well, if this is something that you need, then I'm on board. Do 
Do you, um, want to sleep in our bed tonight? I would love to sleep in our bed tonight, but I have the McConnell meeting in the morning and I need to be prepared. Okay. Good night. Good night. There you go. It is not illegal to smile. Edition begins. Dominic, hi, please come in. This is my house. Ah. Uh, you've got a beautiful home. Thank you. Can I offer you a smoothie, water? Oh, no, I'm good. Oh, this is Tom's office. He works for a law firm, so when he brings work home, this is where he winds up. Is that often? Oh, here and there. Lies. Huh? White lies are toxic. Oh, I'm not. I'm it's not okay. Lying. I'm not criticizing. I used to lie all the time. I'm just saying that I'm here to work on your health and to maintain that health. But to do that, we have to remove the toxins. Yeah? Okay. Love the office, by the way. Yeah. It's, it's nice. beautiful. Thank you. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. <gasps> Look at you two. Oh, we were just kids back then. The whole world ahead of you. Mm -hmm. No idea what's coming. You want to go outside and do some yoga? Hmm? Yeah. But you might want to put a lighter outfit. It's a hot one. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>
push. Excellent. Bring your knees together and hold it. Awesome. Push back. Exhale towards me. Yes. More. That's it. Hold it for ten. You're invincible. Five. Four. Three. Two. Excellent. Well done. <laughs> I'm gonna have my job in no time. Yes, you will. <laughs> I think so. Huh. Came home early. I thought we could have some lunch. Oh, this is my yoga. Hey. You must be Tom. Nice to meet you. Likewise. Justine is the perfect student. Yes, she's always really good at anything she puts her mind to. And body. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna let you guys get back to what you were... whatever that was. Thank you. forward and raise your right leg up. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. That's it. Hold it. I'm doing it. Straighten your back. And relax. <laughs> See? It's my girl. Bravo. Huh? Big breath in. Exhale. Sit down in your chair pose. Keep your palms closer to your heart. Open your shoulders. That's it. Tuck your tailbone in. Why did you come to me? Jenny just raved about you. But why now? Just worked out. Don't lie to me. Toxins. Um, we're trying to adopt a baby. It's been stressful. Arms reach up, parallel. Lift them up. be a great mom. I can see that. I'm sure Tom does, too. Um, is this the whole thing? Imagine there's a weight between your hands. You're holding it up. At the same time, push down on your heels. Breathe. Thanks for the lift. Tom? No. Where have you been? 
I was at a yacht regatta in the south of France. Or I was down at Kincaid's drinking. It was the second one. We need to talk about today. Okay. Right now? Yeah. like this. Dominic. What are you looking for? Don't worry about it. You know what? You could have been nicer to him today. Oh, I could have been nicer? <laughs> so we're gonna make this about me. This is all my fault. Well, you ran off and you got drunk like a teenager. Well, I'd like to see a teenager afford what I was drinking tonight. Okay, Tom, I am trying to be serious. I'm being serious. All of a sudden, you want to spend all your time with some yoga guy because now yoga's your thing. And then I come here, and he's here, and then you're dressed like some cougar on the prowl? Excuse me? And I'm supposed to be an adult about it? Okay. I'm feeling like... I'm feeling... Ugh. Please don't use that therapy crap on me, okay? The reason why we went to therapy is so that we could communicate better. I know. It was great. I'm glad we did it. It was money well spent. I don't want to argue with you. I don't want to argue either. I just want our house to be a calm and serene place where we both feel safe. We need that. Our baby will need that. Tom! here for you as long as I could, but I really don't know if we should move forward without your wife knowing. Give me a call when you can on my cell. as soon as I got your message. Hmm. When you're suffering, it is important to look at something fabulous. I'm so sorry, honey. No, the ironic part is the reason why he was drunk on the couch like some heartbroken frat boy. It's because he was jealous. Of Dominic. I mean, it doesn't even make sense. That makes perfect sense. If he's off with someone else, what does he care what I'm doing? Because he thinks that you're the one doing the cheating. That takes precedence over anything that he's doing. You know, he was gone this morning. He didn't say a thing to me. He didn't want to apologize or say, let's talk. Mm. He's humiliated. That's what men do when they're humiliated. They shut off. You know, I didn't even notice. moment that my life fell apart. Your life is wonderful. 
You are great. This is just one of those moments that has its challenges. Working with Dominic is giving you all the tools to help you face everything that life's throwing at you, yeah? Yeah. So dive in. Nails. Oh, thank you. breaths. Two. One. One more. And relax. Lay your back. Shavasana. Everything okay? I'm fine. Toxins. Everything is not fine. He is not happy. And we're going down a slope. I don't know what's at the end. I'm not interested in the he or the we. I'm interested in you. That's why you are here. To work on you. To strengthen your body, your soul, and your mind. But it's not just about me. It's about Tom, too. Justine, everything is about you. It starts from yourself. You have to love yourself first before you love others. Tom is just a distraction. He's not your solution. Would you like to know what your solution is? Yes. Working on yourself with me. I just feel like I'm trying to fix something that's been broken for years. That's fine. We all have pasts. As long as they remain in the past, our futures are ripe for the taking. I just feel lost and alone. No, no, no. You're not alone. I'm here. Relax. Relax your shoulders. Drop your jaw. Relax your face. Breathe. I'm so sorry. I should go. Please don't let this stop you from continuing. Your potential is amazing. Dominic. I... lied. What? I'm not sorry for the kiss. I... I don't know what to say. Ask me to stay. I need time to think. I have something for you. It's an amethyst crystal cluster. It's a healing stone for balance, peace, and protection. Protection? For you, for the toxins in your life. A little bit of protection never hurt anyone. I can't, I can't accept this. It's already yours. Take it. Thank you.
Are you okay? Yes. Mm. Who's S? S? In your phone, Tom. Who is S? Wait a minute. You... You went through my phone? All right. Apparently, Mother Nature has decided she doesn't like my midnight Saturday classes any more than you do. <laughs> Reach up. Hold it. Beautiful. Open up your heart. Hold it. Hold it up. Beautiful. Reach. No expectations here. No judgment. Just breathe. Exhale. Hands to heart. Beautiful. Listen to your body. Really listen. It's important that you listen to your body. Mind is gonna cloud the message your body's sending. Filling it with memories of the past. Thoughts of others. Elijah! I can't believe you went through my phone. You still haven't answered my question. I don't feel like I should. After 16 years of marriage, Justine, you'd figure that I would have earned a little bit of trust. I heard her voicemail, Tom, so you can't just pretend it's a coworker. I know what this is. Oh, yeah, what? It's the yoga guy. Yeah, maybe you've done something. Maybe you're, I don't know, thinking of doing something. But that doesn't mean that I am. Don't try to turn this around on me. You still haven't answered my question. You know what? You can find out for yourself. Here. It's 1 a.m. Nobody's going to pick up. Machine will answer. Call. We're in the middle of a class here? Don't you dare. I have no idea what you're talking about. Hey, 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 relax. I have no idea who Elijah is. Don't you dare do that to me, Elijah. He's you! Just say that he's you! He's you! Hey, relax. Relax. I have no idea what you're talking about. You told me you wanted me. You told me you needed me. I love my husband for you! Is this what gets you off? Stealing women, forcing them to throw away their lives for you. It took me two years to find you. Maybe you have confused with somebody else. Ma'am, my name is Dominic. You weren't Elijah either. Or Jay in San Francisco, or Terrence when you spent that summer in Portland. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, I tracked you down, Sebastian Nikos. Cost me my last cent. But you already took everything else, so why did that matter? I understand you're very troubled, miss, but I'm not the man you're looking for, okay? Now we can leave. <laughs> work in the politics, like you said. And I found another agency. I might have possibly found another baby. Tell me. 
was afraid I was going to lose you. But I also didn't want you to have to go through that again if I wasn't for sure. You didn't have to do that alone. Jeff, I know it's late, no, early, whatever. I don't need a favor. Did I give you the beach house? Then you owe me. Did your friend still work for the police department? Okay, I need you to give him a name to look up for me. Sebastian Nikos, also goes by Dominic Romero. Thank you. I miss having you here. I'm home all the time. No, I mean, here. You know what, when I get back, I'm gonna take a few days off. I feel like we need a little us time. Back? Okay, we really need to start looking at each other's shared calendars because I go to Dallas, I leave today. Uh. I have that litigator's conference. Do you have to go? I know that you hate it when I ask you that. I just... There's something that we need to talk about. You have to go. But it's the last trip for a long time, okay? Okay. What do you want to talk about? Wait till you get home. I'm done with the pills. What? I'll stop them. I'm done with them. Good. I know that you knew about it. I just... I just don't want you to worry about it, okay? I think that... if we're gonna start to focus on the baby, I should put all of the yoga stuff on hold. You don't want to teach anymore? Maybe one day, but right now, I just want you and a baby to love. Let's hit rewind, okay? Deal. I cancel the session for today. New start. New start. Tom, Dominic, we have a session at ten. 
Oh, she told me she canceled it. Really? Uh, I didn't get a message or anything. Going somewhere? Business trip. Another one? <laughs> yes. I have two types of students. The ones who come to me to escape their schedules, and the ones who come to me to escape those who live and die by their schedules. That's great. Well, I should uh, be going, so she'll be in touch. How about you? What about me? Justine tells me how much you work, how often you're gone. She does. Yeah, she tells me about all the toxins in her life. You must be training for your body and soul to harbor such weight. I feel pretty good. Really? Really. A session with me is what you need. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, no. why, why not? No, it's just... Come on, I gave oh. your wife what she needed. She'll be in touch. Okay, tell Justine I'll see her soon. What happened? Thank God you're here. Oh my God, oh my God, this crazy obsessed woman stormed into the studio. What? I, I, I don't know, she was confused. She thought I was somebody else. Somebody who broke her heart. Poor thing. But now that you're here, everything seems right again. Just a minute. Dominic. Dominic. What is it? Look, all of this has been amazing. It has. And you and I in another timeline, who knows? But I canceled today's session because I think we need to stop all of this. The yoga, everything. Stop it? Yeah, I, I really need to... Focus on my family, Tom and I, and... Don't mention the past. He's not the past, he's my husband. Where was he when we were in the grass? In each other's arms? He sure felt like he was the past. Okay, I made a mistake, and it's my fault, no, and I'm no, really no, sorry, no, but... It wasn't your fault. It was his. It's his. He drove you right into my studio. He made you go through hell. A real man, a man who really loves you, would never do that. A real man would take care of you. He does. A real man would always be there for you. A real man would never make you feel alone. He would make you feel safe. I don't think you should talk to me like that. Huh. I have every right to talk to you like that. Every right. I love you. Don't say that. Why not? It's true. If you search inside, if you really search inside of you, you would see that you love me, too. Dominic? I know, I know, it's scary. But would this prick let fear rule its life? Dominic, I don't love you. I don't really know you. 
and you don't love me, it's over. You're breaking my heart. You are stabbing a knife in my heart. And I am scaring you? Hmm? That was too much. I'm so sorry. I'm the toxins are playing once again. But you take all the time you need, okay? Sorry, that was too much. You take all the time you need. All the time you need. Relax. Up. Breathe. Put your heart up. Take all the time you need. Breathe. Exhale. All the time you need. His original name is Sebastian Nikos. That's his first wife, Paula. He served three years for that. Poor thing. Then he starts moving around, changing his name. He's got a type. They're all married. Seems his M.O. is he gets what he wants, then he bolts. He's very persuasive. What is this? The last girl, 13 months ago, she hanged herself. But look what her husband said. She was scared to death of heights. There's no way that she climbed to the top of that tower. You don't think? Portland PD did. They just couldn't find any evidence to prove it. Do you think that he's going after these women because he's trying to get back at them for something? Here's what I think. I am not gonna waste any time trying to figure out this level of crazy. I'm gonna go file a police report. Come with me. I kissed him. Oh, God. It was in the moment. It was fast, but I... You should not be alone. I'm gonna be okay, right? You're gonna pack a bag, come with me to the police station, and stay with me tonight. Okay. Thank you for being such a good friend. Very fabulous. Meet me outside. Delayed? How long? Just a few hours. Just a few hours, and you're not ranting and screaming and going on a Twitter tirade against the airline gods? I'm sorry. Where's my husband? Can you put him back on the phone? <laughs> okay, fine. I deserve that. Oh, I'm in too good a mood. It's nice to feel close to you again. I miss you. I miss you, too. No, I mean, I really miss you. This house smells creepy when you're not here. Creepy? everything okay? Yeah. Just being silly. Um, I'll, I'll call you from Dallas, okay? I love you. I love you, too.
Come on already. Jenny, um... I... Um, I'm changing my mind. I'm not gonna come with you. Look, it's one night without your bed. You'll get over it and thank me before you know it. No, I'm gonna be fine. I'll, I'll see you tomorrow. You sure? Uh-huh. Okay, then. Uh-huh. I love you. I'm calling you in the morning. That was great. Beautiful. It was amazing. What do you want from me? A partnership. A, a negotiation to start over. Sure. Don't lie to me! Do you love him? He's my husband. Husband. Husband? A man who's never there for you? A, a man who, who doesn't sleep with you? Who, who, who would rather sleep on his couch rather than next to you, to your body? A man who won't give you a child. Or can't give you a child. Do you love a man like that? My grandmother had this chair. And this, but like, it was like this. I'm sorry about before. The toxins were overwhelming, but it was necessary for us to 
start over. What did you do? Nothing. Nothing. I'm not a monster, Justine. Uh, I would never touch you before... before knowing one thing. Did you sleep with him after our moment together? It's none of your business. His body's polluted! And now yours is too! How could you do that? How could you undo all the work I did on you? Why? Get in the tub. God, it's insane. Insane. You know what insane is? Insane is thinking you're special. When you're just another minivan mom crawling into my studio thinking that she can reset her life. Insane. I have feelings for you. I really do. If only you could trust me. I did trust you. I came to you for help. Get in the tub. Get in the tub. Get in the tub. He never needed my help. I just wanted to ascend to a life that wasn't yours to take. The easy way. I've chosen others. If you've chosen others, why don't you leave me alone? Because... You're the last. Are you calm? Yes. Yes. Justine. That's stupid. I'm not stupid, I know, Justine. I know you're not stupid. I'm not stupid either. Spring. Spring. protection never hurt anyone.
Are you okay? Nothing else happened. They stopped it. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. So sorry. This is all my fault. I love you so much. Please forgive me. I'm so happy you're home. feels like you and Justine would be the perfect match for this little girl. Give me a call back and let's get you all together. today and I noticed this little sprig of green pushing its way out of the cement now I couldn't tell if it was a flower a plant or a weed but I respected its persistence for my new students Today is your first step in your growth toward what you're meant to be. <laughs> 